welcome to my kitchen, a whole world of great health. Hi, I'm Judy, and today we're going to have an exciting day. We're going to have a cooking show with some special guests. But first, Mary and I have some serious shopping to do, so let's go. For some of you want nice, uh, sometimes you want them softer than other times mm -hmm. to make But not soft. too soft, you just want to be able to press gently. Mm -hmm. And that uh, this nice red color, there's no blemishes on there. I love the smell of tomatoes. How about you? Smell this. Tomatoes are great for you. They've got a lot of vitamin C. Vitamin C is great to help fight infection. Carrots are great for you. They've got a lot of vitamin A, great for vision and healthy skin. Cilantro we got, carrots, Cilantro, broccoli. Green onion. Broccoli is really great for you. It's got a lot of vitamin A in here, as well as fiber and a source of calcium. We need some bell peppers too. Okay? Okay. They come in all kinds of colors, but we want the red bell peppers and the green bell peppers. How many of each do you want, Judy? Uh, three of each. What's next on our list? We need some cabbage. Cabbage. Green cabbage. So when you get a cabbage, you can squeeze it to make sure it's a firm, tight cabbage that's not a lot of loose leaves. Um, and that would be good and kind of solid for its weight. Your green vegetables, the deeper green they are, the more vitamin A content they have. So the deeper green is what we want to look for. Okay, that's it on the vegetables. Now we're gonna go on to the fruits. Mangoes are a great source of vitamin C, and they smell good. Fresh pears are a great grab-and-go snack. Easy, ready to eat, and they taste great. When choosing milk, it's always best to get skim milk or 1% milk. Frozen vegetables can also be a healthy alternative. When looking for grains, always look for 100% whole grain. Okay, peanut butter's done. Granola, or oh, it's brown rice. And then we just need to get the chicken. Now we're getting chicken for our chicken dishes. Choose lean meat like chicken and fish. It's always important to read labels. Save a few bucks. Mm -hmm. The food will come out tastier. <laughs> Great. Let's take care of the coupon on this. Oh, no. What is that? It was, I just love the supermarket. was great. We picked up a lot of groceries for today. We're going to have fun. We're going to get started with the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. We're ready for breakfast. Jamelia, Zephyrias, we're going to make apple oatmeal. How do you feel about that? Yes! But first, we need to wash our hands. So we're going to get started. We need one apple. We need to chop the apple the bite-sized pieces. And we'll use one whole apple. We also will need apple juice. We're going to use one and three quarters cup. And we always want to make sure that we're choosing 100% apple juice. We'll add to that some uh, oatmeal, quick cooking oats. It's 100% whole grain which is really great, gives you a lot of fiber. We're going to add a little bit of cinnamon for flavoring. And then we're going to just stir this, put it in the microwave for two minutes and it'll be ready. Leave it uncovered. Oh, it smells good. Can you smell the cinnamon? Yes. The apple? 
go ahead and try some of that. And there's the spoon. Mm. Tastes very good. Good job. Now we have a colorful, zesty Asian chicken salad. We have a special guest, Leslie, who will be joining us. Hey, Judy. Hi, Leslie. Come on yeah. in. Look at all these colors. That looks yeah. great. Well, I've got this zesty Asian chicken salad, so I'm going to have you help me prepare it. Great. Got lots of different colorful vegetables. We want to always include a rainbow of all these. So um, we've got our recipe, which will need some shredded cabbage, some chicken, broccoli florets, green onions, some carrots, okay. bell pepper, and let's prepare the bell pepper. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to prepare the bell pepper. So we're going to cut the bell pepper, and then we just slice our red bell peppers into the slices. The recipe calls for one red bell pepper. We're going to take all of this here and then put them in, into smaller slices and those will be ready to go. I'm going to have you help me by adding all the ingredients into our salad. So let's start with our cabbage. Okay. And let's toss in the broccoli florets. Broccoli florets. We will go ahead and add in our green onions. Okay. Our carrots. Peppers. Oh, the colors look beautiful. Yes, great. And then our chicken. So while well, you add those the pieces of chicken in, and it's always good to choose meats that are lean. So I have already removed the skin from the chicken, and I broiled it. You broiled it. Broiling, baking, or grilling are great ways to prepare chicken, so we don't add a lot of fat to that. I'll let you go ahead and toss that. I'm going to make the dressing. The dressing calls for a half a cup of a Asian sesame dressing. Okay. We'll add that into here. Then we're going to add one fourth cup of orange juice. Okay. I'm going to just stir this up a little bit. And you'll just pour some of that dressing in the salad. Okay. Finish it off with some cilantro. cilantro. That looks beautiful. And just shake some sesame seeds over the top of it. Right. And we're ready to go. So we've got a nice colorful salad, lots of fresh vegetables in there. You can add a variety of others as well. So if your children have some of their favorites, you can add some of those in. But the more colors we add in, the more vitamins we get. Right. Rainbow of colors. Mmm. The dressing is so good. It it's adds sweet, a flavor to it. Not too sweet. It's great. My kids would definitely eat this. And here we have a zesty Asian chicken salad. Easy to make, lots of wonderful colors of a variety of vegetables. It's good for your health. And it tastes good too. And you can do it. You know what I learned? When looking for peanut butter, always check for the ones with the oil on top. That way you know it's all natural, doesn't have any added sugar, and you just stir the oil back in before you use it. 
Now we're going to do some savory greens. We're using some mustard greens as a dark green leafy vegetables. And when you're choosing your mustard greens, you wanna look for some crisp green leaves. My friend Melody's going to be joining me. Judy, let's make some greens. We've got some mustard greens today. Okay. They're high in vitamin A, K, and fiber. Mm -hmm. But first, we're going to get the stock ready. I've started with some water. We've added three cups of water, a fourth of a pound of smoked turkey breast. I've got one fourth cup of chopped onions. I also have a tablespoon of jalapenos. I've chopped them up, so one tablespoon of the chopped jalapenos. We also have two cloves, and I've chopped those up. Let's just add that in here little garlic cloves, and one-fourth of a teaspoon of a cayenne pepper. All right. We're going to use a half of a teaspoon of thyme. I have one green onion, and I've chopped that in advance. I'm going to add this in here. Now we're going to add one teaspoon of ground ginger. So now we're ready for the mustard greens. You can All help right. us with that. Yes, there was a trick I wanted to show you about cutting the vein out of your greens. Sometimes uh, you can pull it off if you want, but what my grandmother taught me how to do was just to cut, fold it in half and cut the vein out like that. How easy. Really easy. Fold in half and cut the vein out. Sometimes we just rip them apart, but another way to do it very fast is to roll it up like this. Wow, that saves you a lot of time. Chop, chop. I just took mine and I ripped them right. um, because I like to have my kids help in the kitchen so they enjoy this part and they rip it and they don't have to use the knives. But I found that when I get them involved, they're more apt to try these. Mm -hmm. We could add the mustard greens to there and okay. we'll need to just simmer that. All right, I'm gonna give this a shot. Okay. That is great. And it didn't take long to make. No, I can make this any night of the week. Right, it's quick, it's simple. Oh, wow, well, this is great, thanks. You're welcome. I gotta go. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you again. <laughs> I wanna eat some of that. going to prepare another dish that has some chicken in it and it's going to be our mango chicken stir fry. We've got our raw chicken breast and it's lean. We've removed the skin and we will remove some of the fat as well. It also requires some mango, two fresh mangoes which we have already prepared and sliced. We'll add some pineapple juice, some low sodium soy sauce, some ground ginger, and also some bell peppers. We've used red and green bell peppers to have a variety of colors. And then we're going to add some uh, toasted slivered almonds in there. So this is a dish that you can make. It's a great source of protein. We've also got some fruits and some vegetables. Nice. So it's going to be very nutritious for us. And colorful. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to cook our chicken. Well, while I'm finishing up the chicken, Leslie, why don't you go ahead and mix together the pineapple juice, the low sodium soy sauce, and the ground ginger for me. Okay. So we're going to add that sauce into, into the chicken. Here, into the chicken. Okay. And we'll also add our bell peppers. So let's go ahead and toss in our mangoes. slivered almonds. Now I've made some brown rice already in advance and a portion for the brown rice for your grains is about half a cup so I'll just show you how much about a half a cup is and that's really the portion of what we need for a okay. serving. You want to make half your plate with your fruits and vegetables. The colorful side. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you 
know what? Frozen green beans are just as healthy as fresh, and they're easier for me to store for a long period of time. So I think a lot of people are, are, are getting involved in their own health now. This bicycle riding is the thing. It will help you lose weight the healthy, safe way. And I've done it, just spinning and burning, spinning and burning, and it's done a great transformation in my body. We even, we even switched the, uh, the pork and our greens and stuff to uh, turkey. So you had to do it gradually to make the change. Like everything, it takes a small step. Now we're going to make one of my all-time favorites, vegetable quesadilla. And we've got the Sanchez family joining us today. Hi, Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi. I've got some really exciting Hi. things planned here. Something that you can make as a snack, but it also can be a meal as well. Okay. Let's Our see. vegetable quesadillas, we're going wow. to use some green bell pepper, some corn, some chopped green onions, diced tomatoes, cilantro. That looks so good and some low-fat cheese. The recipe calls for a flour tortilla, but you can take that up one step and use whole wheat yeah, tortilla. It's more nutritious. Yes, we're going to put that on there and warm it up a little bit. We're going to add in our bell peppers and some corn. Okay. Just stir that for a little bit, let it cook. We've got some green onions to add into here. Uh -huh. Some diced tomatoes some cilantro. While that's cooking, we're heating up our wheat tortilla. Uh -huh. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese up to here. This is a low-fat cheese. Our cheese is melting here. And now, we'll be able to fold this in half. The cheese has been melted. We're going to put this onto our board. The salsa, I made this myself. You can make it at home. It's got some diced tomatoes, some chopped onions, a little bit of cilantro. Would you like to try some? Oh, yes. yes. It's delicious. I know that you've been hearing a lot about nutrition today, primarily about fruits and vegetables, which are great, but let me tell you the whole story. The trick is keeping the nutrition that's in these whole grains that are in their most natural form in the bread you buy from the grocery store. This one is the one that you would want to purchase, 100% whole wheat. That's going to have the fiber, vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that are naturally occurring in the product when it came out of the ground. That's the best way to spend your money in the grocery store. When we're talking about grains, of course, we're not just talking about bread. There are lots of other grains out there that we all eat every day. And you can get each one in a whole grain form. Now they're starting to come out with all different types of whole grain cereals, whole grain snack bars, whole grain crackers, all types of stuff that tastes great and is a lot healthier for you from a nutritional standpoint. You can do it. Sometimes the healthier foods are a bit harder to find. Ah. When getting cereal for my kids, I always make sure to look for cereal that doesn't have a lot of sugar, and the first ingredient is whole grains.
Now we're going to make a fruit dip. It's easy and you can use all the colorful fruits. So you'll be using some low fat vanilla yogurt and you'll be adding 100% orange juice, a little bit of brown sugar, and then we'll add some fresh lime juice. So why don't you go ahead and add the low fat yogurt in. Now your orange juice, and this is 100% orange juice. That's two tablespoons. And just a little bit of brown sugar. Go ahead and add that in. We're going to add some lime juice in now. I like to use fresh limes and squeeze the juice out. And we're going to squeeze this. So go ahead and mix our fruit dip now for us while I get the fruit ready. We're going to just pour our dip down the center. Great. And I think we're ready for our dessert. Wow, that was a lot today. We did a lot of shopping, cooking, eating, and moving. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. 